Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever wanted to use an app as a plugin in Lightroom, but unfortunately that app isn't available as a plugin in Lightroom? For example, I have this image and I'd like to use On One Photo Raw 2023 to replace the sky in this image. So typically you would right click right on the image, go down to edit in and then over and down. And if you go over and down, you'll notice that I have on one effects, on one no noise, on one portrait, on one resize. I don't have on one photo raw 2023. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually add any app so that it could be used as a plugin in Lightroom. In this case, I'm going to add on one photo raw 2023. Now to do that, open up Lightroom like I have here, then go up to preferences, Preferences on a Mac is under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open up Preferences, go to the third tab from the left, External Editing, and go to the middle. This middle part is the part where you could add an application as a Lightroom plugin, but it's not exactly clear how to do this. You can see right now in the dropdown, there happens to be Color Effects Pro 5, and you can see there's some settings down here. Whenever you add an app, as a Lightroom plugin, you're going to have to tell Lightroom what file format to use, what color space to use, what bit depth to use, what resolution to use. So go through this drop down here and see what plugins you already have and see what settings they're use, using for their specific plugins. There's a pretty good bet that the plugin you add will use similar settings. Now, for my case, I'm lucky because I happen to have some on one plugins already on my computer or installed in Lightroom. I have on one effects, on one no noise. So I'll just copy those settings. I'll go to on one effects 2023 and you can see that for on one effects, it wants a PSD file, Adobe RGB 16 bits per component, resolution of 300. I could even check, let's say on one no noise, that's the same. On one portrait AI, that's the same. On one resize AI, that's the same. So it is a pretty good bet that on one photo raw 2023 will work well if we use similar settings for it. So I want to add on one photo raw 2023 and use these settings, PSD, Adobe RGB, 16 bit per component, resolution of 300. How do I do that? Well, first go over here and click on clear. When you click on clear, you see right here where it says on one resize, that's the actual um, file or application that is going to be summoned when we use this plugin. What we want to do is clear it. Now, of course, if you're using a PC, it's not going to be .app, it's going to be .exe. But don't worry about what it says. It doesn't matter. Just click clear. You can see now it's not specified. Up here it says edit it. So now what we need to do is choose, uh, in my case, on one photo raw 2023, click choose. Go to your apps, find the app that you want to add as a plugin. Again, in my case, it's on one photo raw 2023. There it is, the .app file. Again, Windows users, it's going to be .exe. So we're going for that. We'll click choose. Okay, now that is here on one photo raw 2023.app, but we have this up here. We don't want it to say on one resize edited. We don't want that, right? So we want to add this as a new plugin. So click this drop down, go down to the bottom, save current settings as new preset. Click on that and give it a name. We're going to call it on on one photo raw 2023 and we're going to click create okay now it's all set it says on one photo raw 2023 up here it says it there it has the correct settings there and if we look my other on one plugins are all there we didn't hurt those at all we didn't do anything to modify those or anything we just have this new plugin on one photo raw 2023 now one thing you may encounter is when you add an application as a plugin to Lightroom, manually add as we just did, sometimes it won't behave like you expect it behave. For example, if I send an image into on one portrait and I edit the portrait and I click done, what will happen is on one portrait AI will close. It will save the file, it will close, and then it will automatically reopen in Lightroom and you'll see your edited image in Lightroom. When you manually add a plugin in Lightroom, it may not do that. You may have to do a couple more steps. So let me show you, I have this image here. 
I want to send it to On One Photo Raw 2023 to replace the sky. So I'm going to right click right on it. I'll go to edit in and I'll go over and down to On One Photo Raw 2023. Now, again, those are those settings, right, that we just did. So we'll click at it. Now it will take this image, it will create that PSD file, and then it will open up in On One Photo Raw 2023. And once, it does, once we're in on one photo raw 2023, I'm going to just replace the sky in the image. I'm not going to do anything else. And you can see it opens okay eventually. And there it is. Okay, so we're going to go to sky replacement over here on the right. And let's, it's going to swap the sky. Let's pick a nice OcuDrone sky. I don't know. Let's just pick that one. Okay, let's just go with this. So I replaced the sky. I'm not going to do anything else, all right? Now you're going to click done over here. Now watch what ha happens when I click done. It's going to ask you to save the file. Just save the file. Now you could make this bigger. You could click here and see more. You're going to save the file and it's going to default to the default, the current location of the current file. That's fine. All right. So don't do anything. Just basically, it's going to ask you to save the file. Click save. Then it's going to say, hey, you already got that file there because Lightroom created the file and sent it over into on one photo raw 2023 just replace it okay now it's going to save it and psd files do take a little while to save so once it's saved it will close down on one photo raw 2023 i think automatically it may just stay here yeah it just stays here so you have to manually close down on one photo raw 2023 go up here on a mac go down to quit all right so i manually closed it but there's our image there is our edited image. It has the beautiful sky added to it, the beautiful OcuDrone sky. There's before and there's after. So that is how you could manually add an application as a Lightroom plugin. Now, some applications just absolutely will not work as a plugin in Lightroom. So you may try this and then when you go over, it won't open it or it will, it just, there's nothing you could do about it. But for most applications, you should be able to manually add it as a Lightroom plugin like I just did. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>